So we've looked over the last two weeks at the hidden bits of Haggadah and Pesach. First, we looked at the sin of the sale of, the bro of brother Joseph, where the brothers allowed their brother Joseph to be sold, sold down to Egypt. And that, that led to the Exodus, of course. It led to our stay in Egypt. But we don't want to talk. We're shamed, in a way, to talk about that act. We last week talked about Israel. The Eretz Israel is rarely in the Haggadah. And that's because we looked at, we're talking about Pesach as Exodus from. We're not talking about where we got to. We're talking about thinking of where we've come from and the experience of leaving Egypt rather than coming to Israel as central to Pesach. And finally, really, Tzafun, one of the last elements of the Haggadah, Tzafun, is about hiddenness. It's about, of course, hiding what we call as the Afikoman. And what's interesting is that we talk a lot about the hiding. Some have a custom where the parents hide the afikoman and the child goes to find it. Some have a, parent, a custom where the child steals the afikoman, this piece of matzah, and the parents have to find it, or they're bribed by their children, so to speak, to be told where it has been hidden. But what we miss is the symbolism of the afikoman. The Pesach offering, which was slaughtered Erev Pesach on the 14th, was then eaten on Pesach itself, and was actually the dessert. They would eat of the main festive offering, and only afterwards would eat the Pesach offering. So it actually became the dessert. Afi Komen, in a sense, is the additional eating, the dessert itself. That's really what the matzah represents. This matzah the Afikoman represents the Pesach offering itself. And what's hidden from, of course, our Pesach is the many temple customs that were so central to Pesach. In some ways, our Pesach is not the same. It's a shadow of the Pesach that was because we don't have a temple. And it's fascinating to look at that and to compare our Pesach which in some ways is a mock-up and a shadow of the Pesach that was. And central to that is the hiddenness. Tzafun means hidden, which the shadows that exist behind the Afikoman itself. So I wish you all a really great Pesach, a Pesach where you can think about some of the things behind what we do. Don't just focus on the words you read and on the stories, but what's behind it? What are we being forced to think about when we read the Haggadah? Spend time discussing with your children. Don't be frightened to stay up late on Pesach night and feel a sense of freedom that you are with your family able to discuss such a central foundation festival and book of our nation. Have a great Pesach.